Hey viewers, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Flight of the Angels by Slaughter. <laughs> Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my YouTube channel Essential Guitar Lessons. Lots of songs and lessons for all levels and new ones uploaded weekly and I'll put a link in the description there for you. Now if you have any problems with the song please leave a comment and let me know. Now they're tuned to D so just tune each string down a tone and we'll start with the clean guitar and finish with what all the heavy guitar parts are doing as well. So let's first start with the chords so we already know these chords skip ahead to this time. Okay, so the chords we're using is just a standard G chord, so third fret on the E string, second fret on the A string, open D and G, third fret on the B and the E. We've got a standard D chord, so open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, and second fret on the E. And we'll also do that as a D5, so exactly the same chord, but we're just playing the D, G, and B string, and that would be a D5. We have a standard A chord, so open A string, 2nd fret on the D, G and B and open E. We have an A sus 2, so open A string, 2nd fret on the D and the G, this time an open B, open E. So A sus 2 and we have an A5 which again is the same, just play the A string, open 2nd fret on the D and the G and that's our A5 there. Now we have this B minor 7 over F sharp. Now you can just play it as a B minor 7 because we're just adding the lower note there, the F sharp. So we have 2nd fret on the E string, 2nd fret on the A string. We have the 4th fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B and 2nd fret on the E. So that's our B minor 7 over F sharp. We have an F add 9 chord there, so we're going to have 3rd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, 1st fret on the B string, and then the 3rd fret this time on the E string. So it's our F add 9, we're going to have a standard F, so 3rd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G, 1st fret on the B and the E, and that's our F. We're going to have a standard C chord, so 3rd fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D, open G, 1st fret on the B, open E, and that's our C. We're going to have a G6 chord here, so we'll have the 5th fret on the D, the 4th fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, and this time the open E, and that'll be our G6. Now we're going to have this D sus4 add 9 chord as well. Sounds confusing but really easy to play. We're just playing a C shape but moving it up two frets. So we're going to have the 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, open G, 3rd fret on the B, open E. It's going to be a D sus4 add 9 there. And then we have a D over F sharp as well. So this time we're playing the 4th fret on the D string and a normal D chord, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B and 2nd fret on the G there and that's our D over F sharp. So a few chords there, nothing too tricky though. So let's get into the song. So for our intro, it actually fades in so it's really hard to hear what he's doing but he repeats it right at the end so you can get it there. So we're going to have 4 slide to 6 on the G string and then 7 on the D, open A, so slowly. And then 7 G, 7 D, open A, so we have. Then we go up to 9 on the G, play the open A, then play 9 on the G again, 7 on the D, open A, so slowly again. Then go back to 7 on the G, 7 on the D, open A, and then 6 on the G, open A. Now we're going to do 6 slide to 7 on the G string, but also play the open B string. And then 7 on the D, open A, and then back to 6 on the G, 7 on the D, open A. And then to finish that off, we're going to do two, slide up to four on the G string, but also play the open D string. And then do your A sus two, and we're going to do a down, down, up, up, up. So. Then we've got this 
this little run to finish the intro off. We're gonna have two hammer on to four on the D string. G string, two, four, play four again and slide up to six. Open E, then get back to the G string, six, pull off to four, back to seven on the D. So that last little part slowly. So let me do the intro for you slowly, then we'll do it up to speed there, starting on the four, sliding up to six on the G. Let's do that one more time up to speed D. And that's our intro, and then from there we go into our verse. Let's have a look at that now. So for our verse, we're going to start on our G6 chord there. We're going to arpeggio it. So 5D, 4G, 5D, open E, 3rd fret B, 4th fret G and back to the open E, so we have. Now we're going to do that same strumming pattern. We're going to play the 4th fret on the D, open G, 4th fret on the D, open E, 3rd fret on the B, open G and back to the open E there. So. Then we're going to go to our A sus2, so we have the open A string, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret on the G, open E, open B, then play 2nd fret B, G, 2nd fret, D, 2nd fret, so slowly. Then just go back to the A sus2, open E, open B, 2nd fret on the D, 2nd fret, sorry, on the G, and 2nd fret on the D there. And we do that two times, let me play that slowly for you, starting on the G6. And then we repeat that all the way through again. Then the third time through, the start stays exactly the same. Back again. Then we go to our A, and this is where it changes a little bit. We're going to have the open A, second fret D, second fret G, open E, open B, second fret B, open B, third fret B, second fret B. So let me play that last part of the verse for you slowly. Open two, open three, two, all on the B string D. So let me play that verse through for you. I'll just play that top line or that first part once and then go into the second part. Then for our pre-chorus, we're starting on the G chord and we play the E string, the D, G, B, E, B, G, D. So. Then we do our B minor 7 on the F sharp and we do the strumming pattern exactly the same while the arpeggio picking. So E string, D, G, B, E, B, G, D. So. Now we're going to go to our F add 9 chord, so we're going to have the 3rd fret on the D, 2nd on the G, 1st on the B, then 3rd fret on the E, back to the B string, back to the G string, so. Then just go to your F chord and play E, B and G, so. Then we go to the C chord and we just play the open E string, 1st fret on the B, open G, and then back to the F chord where we're playing the E, B, G and D. So let me do that part slowly for you. Back to the C and the F. Then we're just going to take that same chord and we're going to move it up. So it's just a G chord, so we'll play 5 on the D, 4 on the G, 3 on 
the B and this time we're going to do 5 on the E back to the B string, G string and just take your little finger off and play 3 on the E 3 on the B, 4 on the G and then back again so 5, 3, 4, 3, 3, 4 so that little part there and then we're going to finish off Basically on the same chord, but we're going to play the open A string. We'll have the 7th fret on the D, 6th fret on the G, 5th fret on the B, and open E string. And that's our pre-chorus there, so let me play that up to speed for you, starting on the G. our pre-chorus there, so now let's jump into our chorus. So for our chorus we're going to start on the G and we're going to use a strumming pattern here, down, down, up, down, down, up. So. D, same strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then at the end of that we're going to play the open D string, fourth fret on the A and open A there. So. Then we're going to go to the A. Now you're best off just barring this with one finger here because we're going to go down, down, up. Then we're going to do the bend. Or we're going to jump on the third fret on the E string and do a bend. And then just take it off and up, down, up. And then do the same on the A string. Bend the third fret and then up, down, up. So that's A part slowly. Down, up. So let me put that chorus, that first line up to speed so you can hear it's going to sound. Then we just do that again, the G, the D, a little fill. Do the A again. This time do the bend on the third fret on the A string first and then the bend on the 3rd fret on the E string. Then the next time through, just play it the same as we did the first time, the G. D, a little fill, our A, do the bend on the 3rd fret E string, and then 3rd fret A string. Then to finish that chorus off, we just play the G and hold for a bar. Now we do the D over F sharp and hold that for a bar and then just finish on the A and hold that for two bars there. So let me play that chorus for you, it's not too hard once you've done it through a few times, starting on the G. Then from there we go back to the verse again, exactly the same, the pre-chorus exactly the same, back to our chorus exactly the same. Then we have the bridge and we have this little run down here, we're going to start on the 9th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the G, 8 on the B and 7 on the E. Then we're going to a D sus 2 but we're just playing the 7 on the D, 7 on the G, 5 on the B and the E. And then we're just going to a G bar chord, so 5 on the D, 4 on the G, 3 on the B and the E, a D chord, C chord, a G chord, and then to finish that off we're going to do the bend on the 3rd fret on the A string, 3 opens, then do the bend on the 3rd fret on the E string, and then 3 opens. Then there's a pause there and then we do this little run up. So we have open on the A string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, and then on the D string, 2, 4, 5. So just a little run up there. So let me play that bridge for you. It's not too hard if you know these chords. Mm -hmm. 
And that's our bridge there. Now let's have a look at the rhythm behind the solo. And we'll do all the other parts after this as well. So we just go to our G, same strumming pattern as our chorus. So down, down, up, down, down, up. This time we're going to do the D, down, down, up, down. We're going to do a bend on the third fret on the A string. And then just play the A. We're going to do down, 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 up. And then we're going to do our bend again on the third fret like we did in the chorus on the A string. Our down, up, down, up. And again, bend on the third fret on the E string. So it's a little bit different. Let me play that through for you now. This is just the first part of the solo rhythm. Then we do that again, G, the D, the bend on the third fret A, and we do the A the same, down, 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 up. Now this time we're going to play the third fret on the A, open A, and then do the bend on the third fret A, and then play the open A, and then we just go back to the G again, the D, our bend on the third fret, and we're just going to finish on A, and then play the open E string, second fret on the G, open D, sorry, open A to finish that. So hold that there. So let me play that up to speed for you. It's not too hard. back into our pre-chorus. Now this is going to be exactly the same except for our first G. We're just going to pick it a little bit differently. We're going to play the open, sorry, third fret on the E string. Open G, B, E, B, E, B, G. So it's a little bit different. And up to speed. And then do the rest of the pre-chorus exactly the same as we did before. And then from there we go back to our chorus again, so let's have a look at that now. So we start the chorus off the same again, the G, the D, our little fill, and to our A, and we're doing the E third fret, A third fret, so that's the same as our chorus, and do the G again, D, our little fill, and the A again, this time bend on the A string, and then the E string third fret. So the same as before. Then just go back to the first one again when we're doing the bend on the E, then the A. So G, D. Then the next one, just do the G, the D, our fill. Now just play the A this time and just do the strumming pattern two bars. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Then go back to the G again, the same. The D. A little fill. And do the A again, just with the strumming pattern. Then just do that through again. The D. Our fill. And A. two bars on the A, and then to finish it off, we're just gonna play the G chord, we just do three down strums, the D chord, finish on the A sus two there. So let me play that last chorus for you, it's not too hard once you've got the other choruses down. Back 
from there to our G again. Finishing on our A sus2 there. Then to finish it off we've got the little arpeggio which is similar to the intro so let's have a look at that now. So this time we're just going to start from the 9 on the G string and we have 9, 7 on the D open A and then 7 G, 7 D open A and then 6 G open A, do our 6 slide to 7 on the G and also play the open B, 7 D open A back to 6G, 7D, open A, and then do our slide from 2 to 4 on the G string and play the B string as well. And then just the open A to finish there. So we just do that last little part for you. Once you've done the intro, this isn't too hard. And that's all the guitar parts there, and that's the Mark Slaughter part. Now let's have a look at the other guitar parts as well. For our second guitar, we don't play anything in the intro, and then in the verse, we just play the G chord, but just play down to the B string and hold for a bar. So one, two, three, four. Then we're playing our D sus4 add nine, and just strum once and hold for a bar. One, two, three, four. And then our A sus2 strum once, hold for two bars. One, three. Four, one, two, three, four. And for a verse, we just do that three times. Let's play that through. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Back to the G. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And do that three times through. And then from there, we've got a little slide part. So let's have a look at that now. So we're going to play the ninth fret on the D and the G string. So we're actually on the fret there and we slide up to the 12th fret. Then just play the 12th fret on the G there. So. Then play the 12 again and come back to the 11th fret. Then slide up to the 10th fret, D and G. Then just play the 10th fret on the B, G, D there. So let me play that first part for you. Then from there we come up to the 15th fret and go back to the 14th fret on the B string and we do that three times. Then just play 14, G, 14, D there, so slowly. And up to speed. And that's our slide part in the pre-chorus, let's do that up to speed now. And that's a slide in our pre-chorus, and then from there we go into our chorus, let's have a look at that now. So for our chorus we're going to do a slide in, then we're just going to play the G chord and hold for a bar. Then play the D chord, and then play the open D string, 4th fret A, open D, 4th fret A, open D, 4th fret A, and then open A, and then play the A power chord. Then we're going to do the bend on the 3rd fret on the E, open A string 3 times, bend on the 3rd fret on the A, and play A open 3 times. So we'll play that first part for you. Then we just do that again, G to the D. Now this time we play the open D string, fourth fret open D, fourth fret on the A, open A two times. Then play the A chord. Then we bend the third fret A string, open A string three times, bend on the E string third fret, and open A three times. Then go back to the first one and do that the same, the first part. G, D, our little run down. Now this time just hold the A. And 
sets our chorus and there's a little slide part at the end. Let's play through our chorus first, starting on the G. <laughs> So this time slide 9 to 12 on the D and the G string. Then just slide up to the 7th fret on the D and the G. And then the 7th fret on the A and the D. And that finishes off the chorus there, so that's pretty easy. And that's your slide there. Now the next part in the verse, he's actually playing up on the pickups using the slide. So you can take it off there and we're just playing the bottom E string and sliding back a bit. So he's getting like a seagull sound there. And you can play around with different spots there and you get different pitches. And he's just doing that right through the verse there with the slide on the E string. And I'm just sliding back a little bit and stopping. there. Then he goes to pre-chorus, he does that exactly the same with the slide, then we do the chorus and we do that exactly the same with our heavy guitar and then from there we have our bridge and our solo so let's have a look at that. So for our solo we do the run like we did on the acoustic guitar there so we have the open A string, second fret on the A, fourth fret on the A, fifth fret on the A, then the D string, two, four, five, so that runs the same. Then we go from five, slide up to nine on the D string. Seven on the D. Five on the D. Four on the D. Two on the D. Five on the A. And then do your bend on the A third fret. Play the open, A string, and then play the A power chord. And then do the third fret bend on the A string again. Open A three times. Do the bend on the third fret on the E string. And play the open A three times. And then we just do that run down again. Five, we slide up to seven on the D string. Seven, five, four, two, five on the A. Three, bend this time on the A. Play the open A three times. The E bend, A three times. Now this time we're going to play the third fret on the A, open, and then do the bend on the third fret on the A, and then just play the open A, and then we do that little run down again. Five, slide to nine on the D, seven, five, four, two, five on the A, and then just finish on the A power chord. Let me play that for you, it's not too hard there. pre-chorus a slight changes just slightly we still play nine on the D and G slide up to 12 play the 12 G slide back to 11 G play 10 and 10 D and G and then 10 B 10 G 10 D and then when you play that slide up to the 17th fret there so that's the only difference we're sliding up to the 17th fret and then we do the in bit the same play that pre-chorus for you. Nearly exactly the same except from the 10, we slide up to the 17 on the D and the G. And 
and that's our pre-chorus and then from there we go back into the chorus let's have a look at that so the next chorus is going to be the same again we're going to start on the G hold the D our little run our A bend on the E string third fret open A three times bend on the A string third fret open A three times then G again D and then open D, 4th fret A, open D, 4th fret A, open A two times, and then the A. Now do the bend on the A string 3rd fret, open A, bend on the 3rd fret on the E string, and open A. Then do the first one again, G, D, now the one down. Now this time just hold the A for two bars. Again, G, D, the second run, and then just hold the A again. Now for the last two, we're going to do what we did in our solo. We're going to have five slide to nine on the D string. Seven, five, four, two, five on the A. Bend on the third fret on the A. Play the open A and then just play the A chord. Hold for two bars, do that again. One, two, three, four, and then to finish it off we just play G three times, D three times, and finish on your A sus two there. And then we have a little slide bit at the end as well. We're just doing the same as what we did in the pre-chorus. So let me play that chorus for you through first. Fifteen on the B string two times. Slide back to the fourth, fourteenth fret, and then play the fourteen on the G. So, and that's the last little slide part there. And that's all the parts of the song. Nothing too tricky there. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon.